Right here at five, an immersive experience is educating travelers of notable African Americans who played a vital role in our history. WHAS 11's Shirlene Shanklin, our photojournalist Emma Gefter, show us how six Kentucky agencies created a one-of-a-kind history lesson. The Kentucky Black Trailblazers is an experience like you've never had before. It's an augmented reality experience where you are put in the history. You are feeling like you are a part of history. Take a journey back in time with Black Trailblazers of Kentucky. Six Kentucky tourism agencies across the bluegrass have partnered to create a cutting edge augmented reality experience. Um, it will take you across six different cities in Kentucky that are fairly um, close together in the same region and then um, with Google Maps directions as well. Jeanette Morrison with the Shelby KY Tourism explains how the notable trailblazers were chosen. So I got together Black historians from Shelby County and ask them what stories need to be told? Who do we need to highlight here in Shelby County? And they let me know. So we decided, they decided, I should say, on Whitney M. Young Jr. Um, in Simpsonville. That was his birthplace. He was one of the big six, one of the big time leaders in the civil rights movement. Uh, the Harlem Hellfighters, which until this project, I don't think many people or anyone knew that we had five Harlem Hellfighters buried in Calvary Cemetery right here. They were the most decorated regiment, black regiment, in World War I. And then Elijah P. Mars is in Veterans Park, uh, the very first black school teacher. We traveled to the Cavalry Cemetery where the Harlem Hellfighters are buried. Historically black um, cemetery, and um, a lot of the military are here in the front. Um, but it was until this project, I don't think anyone really knew that there were five Harlem Hellfighters buried here. It's a nickname that they got uh, during World War I for being uh, uh, ferocious or not, you know, not being afraid. Um, and then um, they fought for France because of the era. Um, the U.S. did not allow blacks to fight as soldiers, which is so sad. They, these men went thinking that things would change for them, that racism, um, because they were soldiers, would not be as bad. They got over uh, overseas and realized um, one person even had a quote saying that it was worse than slavery. Morrison says France embraced them, but the U.S. didn't. And these men should have been decorated and honored years ago, but we are doing it doing it now. Sound up so at least you can hear. Morrison shows us how the Trailblazer Tour works. Each sign has a little blurb talking about the Harlem Hellfighters. Spent 191 days on the front line. Then I look down at the sign and I notice at least two names that my family may be a part of. <gasps> no. I knew I had family members in that cemetery. Oh my heavens. So when you take the Kentucky Black Trailblazers Tour, you never know what you may learn. I have been searching for somebody that was related to them. Maybe even something about your own ancestors. It's part of your history that you didn't even realize. For your story, I'm Shirlene Shanklin with photojournalist Emma Gafter for WHS 11 News on your side. The Kentucky Black Trailblazers tour consists of 19 stories across six counties. To learn about the tour, just click this link in this story on whas11.com.